Thank you for joining us today on 10 Minutes with the Artist, an episodic series that explores the art practice and the personal vision that guides artists. On today's episode, we're very proud to have Elizabeth Smith, who exhibited recent works from her series Fluid Dynamics at the Memorial Union Gallery at North Dakota State University. Fluid Dynamics is a series of photographic illustrations that explore interactions between oil and water. Through large sculptural forms that contain images on their facade, this body of work chronicles two materials that are in eternal conflict that speak to a larger story of the natural and the synthetic, boundaries and the ephemeral beauty of the fleeting moment. I'm Anthony Ferris, and this is 10 Minutes with the Artist. Thank you so very much for joining us on 10 Minutes with the Artist. Uh, there's something pretty humorous about um, having images that are shot on a micro level blown up into something that's just huge. And I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about uh, why these uh, pieces are now sort of sculptural experiences. So what I was really looking at is um, getting my viewers to feel what I feel when I look through my lens. So when I'm setting up the shot and everything's very small and then I use my macro lens and it's a lot bigger and so I just wanted them to get that experience and with the curved um, sculptural forms they also get the idea of the lens and it, you really get immersed by each photo. And uh, how did you choose which picture would uh, go with each sort of sculpture? Um, I based it on the colors and um, then the different tones of um, sandstone, siltstone, and mudstone and then based those colors and with the photographs and kind of placed it that way just to play on the idea of oil and fracking and sediment layers and tying everything together. Okay. Um, the color schemes in your work are uh, very um, sort of natural, um, as well as the sculptures that you sort of just talked about. Um, and I was wondering how color played a part in the evolution of the work. Um, so with all of my work, I've always gone with nature. That's really my interest. Um, and the idea of oil and water harming nature um, was an interesting play for me so I actually used nature um, and shot the oil and water through and you could see the nature underneath and that's where the colors came from. Okay. Um, I'm mm -hmm. sure that when you were doing this you had a lot of uh, experience working with different oils, different waters and sort of mixtures. Uh, can you talk a little bit about sort of that experience of shooting them? What you sort of um, discovered? Did you discover the content um, through the shooting process. Uh, like, what were you looking at when you were looking through the camera? Um, so this whole um, body of work did, was a lot of experimentation with different oils and different waters and um, different things underneath the bowl, so different elements of nature. Um, and I really just played with it and I um, learned my, what I, I narrowed down what I was really looking at and what I was really interested in and that was that conflict between oil and water like repelling but yet in these images they're very harmonious. So um, once I had figured that out then I basically um, found out which oil and which water and which setup worked the best and that I went from there. Yeah. Well, you can see it in your sculptures as well as your photographs, this sort of like sense of uh, uh, layering and that conflict you're talking about. Um, I was a little bit curious about how focus and specifically sort of like selective focus, um, since you were uh, taking images of this, you were sort of documenting it, um, how that sort of fed into this idea of layers. Um, yeah, it was very much about um, the way that the um, fluids looked in the photo um, to kind of play on that idea of layering and um, really get that sign through the images mm -hmm. with, without um, 
being super literal, I guess. And then I was curious how sense of place sort of like affected or like sort of inspired your work. Um, well, it was really interesting once um, I had the sculptural forms in the gallery um, to place them in a way that I felt would um, give my viewer the best experience and um, playing on the idea of fluids in a wave so um, they kind of it turned into more of an experience and they could walk through it and really feel everything I feel when I shoot through a macro lens. Okay. Um, I guess I was kind of a little bit curious too about sort of where you're from and how that sort of affected. Yeah, um, originally my inspiration for this piece was due to um, the two places that I've lived and um, that was Minnesota and then now I'm here in North Dakota and it was a big change for me coming here um, and going away from family and because I'm from a really small town so um, it really shaped me differently so I wanted to play on that idea and so um, I went off of Minnesota being the land of 10,000 lakes and coming here and it's oil country and that's like what people talk about all the time yeah. so it was really interesting and I wanted to play on that. Okay well sort of at the end of our uh, conversation we'd like to talk a little bit about sort of your creative uh, practice so I was curious uh, what time of day you feel like you're most creative? Um, definitely at night um, I get my best ideas I'm kind of a night owl in the morning I'm pretty just kind of <laughs> here yeah. <laughs> so um, I feel like my brain's working the best then okay um, and uh, do you listen to music or anything like that when you're in the studio um, yeah I like to have like piano music just playing in the back um, just so that the words don't distract from me but then I can just really get in my zone and go for it okay cool um, is there anything that you're reading right now um, no, but um, we did a lot of research through um, Tumblr, and we did posts for our baccalaureate class, and that really helped me researching other artists and how they do their process and just really researching and getting other people's outlook. Okay. And then I guess my last question for you would be, uh, what's next? Um, well, it's kind of unknown, but um, I want to get into graphic design work so we'll see where it goes from there but I have an internship and yeah. Okay well congratulations. Um, I'd like to thank our guest uh, Elizabeth and I'd also like to thank you all for your time and your interest in the professional practice and the creative explorations happening here at North Dakota State University. So uh, thank you and for everyone here at the Memorial Union Gallery. Keep creative. Mm -hmm.